There is some fresh food. The Santa Monica Pier was built in 1909 and it was really not the pier that we know today. It was, uh, it was the long part of the pier that goes out of the ocean, that's all that existed, and it was built to be a public utility. It was uh, built to run sewage out into the ocean, so not the glamorous and fun pier that we know today, but in 1916 in stepped a gentleman named Charles Luth, who built the wide part of the pier and put an amusement park on it, and as the feature to that, to that um, amusement park pier, he built the Luth Hippodrome which is known today as the merry-go-round building or the carousel building. Charles Loof was a very famous carousel carver. He carved the first two carousels ever at Coney Island. In the late 1920s though, things weren't going so well. The, the pier had changed ownership. Charles Loof had long passed away. His family sold the pier and when the bank took over, they sold the only thing that was of value on the entire pier and that was Charles Loof's carousel. So all of a sudden we had no valuable carousel. We had this beautiful Loof Hippodrome. The pier's new lessee named Walter Newcomb moved in and he brought in another highly reputable carousel. And that's what you see here today. It's a Philadelphia Toboggan Company carousel. It's number 62 off of their line. And it is, uh, all of the horses on it today are still the original 1922 hand-carved wooden horses. It is a genuine antique. So people they're not only enjoying an amusement ride, but they're enjoying riding on an antique, which is a really special thing to be able to tell someone. Because of the, the 1973 rally to save the pier, there's a, certainly a Santa Monica and a lot of the West Side local community has that attachment to it, that, that it represents their ability to stand up to the government and save something that they really feel should be saved. Everybody's attached to their own horse. People who come here regularly are attached to their own animals, and certainly my daughter, I have a six-year-old daughter, uh, is, was always very attached to the rabbit when she was very young. In fact, her handprint is on the saddle on the other side. It can offer something new to somebody on repeated use. It's always something special. Always riding around in the circle is a lot of fun, but you can make it different each time by trying a different horse.